Hi there. Just introducing today's workout. Today's workout is a bar workout. You just need a mat and yourself and some energy to get going. It's strong on the legs. They take you through a full warm up. Positions at the bar, legs, abs, everything you need for a well rounded bar workout. So please like, subscribe, and enjoy, guys. It's pretty strong, so just go for it. Thank you very much. That. We really want to open these intercostals here, like super important when we're not moving too much, maybe. Sweep that hand forwards, clasp your fingers round your back. Get a really deep tuck of the pelvis here, so that lovely round spine. Okay, now breathe in between the shoulders. Look down in between your knees now, so stretch the back of the neck. And then gently you're going to sway your hips to one side and kind of banana your body over that same side. Now breathe here and you'll feel one side of your waistline stretch, one side of your spine stretch. Come through the centre, swing your hips the other way, drop that elbow and open the other side of your body. The breath is super, super important here guys as we know. Come through the centre, turn your palms to face towards me and breathe your arms up to the sky, hold them there as you exhale, and bend your knees, tuck your pelvis under. Okay, good. So hold it here, draw your shoulder blades down your back, slide them away from your ears. So we don't want the neck muscles to take over here. So just for a moment, shrug your shoulders up to your ears, feel those tiny muscles, right? They don't, it doesn't take much to really, really stress them out. Do the opposite, drop your shoulders down and let your neck be free. That's it, so let your back muscles take over. Bring the hands forwards, change the interlink of your fingers, turn the palms to face up again, breathe in. Shoulders away from your ears, exhale. Now from here, as you're standing, can you lift your pelvic floor? So if there was like um, 10 floors, you Lift your pelvic floor up to number five. So it's a slight lift of your pee pee muscles. So lift it up and feel a slight contraction over the front of your pelvis. Your knees are soft, your feet are grounded. As you release your hands down, you're gonna hold that contraction in your lower belly and gently roll down through your spine as far as your body wants to go today. Take a bend of the knees at the bottom and then you're going to lift that pelvic floor as you round your spine all the way up to stand. Stretching the spine, let the head come up last. And again, shoulders forwards, lift your pelvic floor, navel drawn in, soften your knees, stretch the back of your body. So it's about your spine here, stretching, and we roll all the way up through the spine. And you're just going to do two more. Be mindful of what's behind you. So try not to stick your bottom out. See if you can imagine there's a wall behind your bum so you can't lean backwards. And it changes it in a little bit of a, a sort of more challenging way. One more. Roll down through your spine. And this time we're gonna hang down over your legs. Hold your elbows, hang down, and really let yourself flop this time. So flopping the chest to the thighs, Bend your knees and see if you can bring your chest to touch your thighs. And so now from here, as you bend your knees a little bit more, you might feel a stretch across your mid and upper back. Breathe into that, breathe into your back lungs. And then flop the hands to the floor, slowly roll all the way up through your spine. And as you come to stand, send the arms forwards. This time we're going to do the opposite. We're going to extend our spine open and arch it back. And again, circle the arms, stick your butt out, chest forwards and open. And two more. Inhaling, circle the arms and exhale. And last time, breathe. Inhale, we're going to flop all the way down to the thighs again. Exhale. Now from here, we're gonna walk the hands forwards and the legs back straight away into a plank. We're gonna hold our perfect plank today. Modifiers, you bring the knees gently to the floor. Otherwise, let's hold this perfect plank today. 
We're just going to breathe and again lift the pelvic floor. This time draw it up a little bit further. So there might be a sensation creeping into your lower belly as the more we lift the pelvic floor. Soften your elbows a little bit and we're going to walk back to a chair pose. So we're going to walk our hands back towards our feet. Bend your knees, reach your arms up in front of you. And again, this time we're going to circle one arm backwards three times. So I'm starting pretty gently today. <laughs> and last one, keep leaning forward. So you're sitting on an imaginary chair. Lean your torso forwards for one and two and three good gently come up to stand raise your arms up in a big v we're just going to lift the knees to the chest now standing nice and tall so we do this one a lot so we're opening up through the hamstrings and just getting the hip flexors working a little bit remember those shoulders start to pull the elbows down right from those rhomboids right underneath the shoulder blades Good, now start to breathe a little deeper, navel drawn in, pelvic floor is lifted. Take the legs into an attitude, the knee starts to open wide. Lovely, string inside your inner ankle is lifting it to the sky. Let's take a little twist towards that knee, this is optional. Pull from underneath the shoulders, four, six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Release, turn your toes out. Remember, we don't want to stick the butt out, tuck it under. And then from here, a little bend and stretch of the legs. And we bend and extend. And then press out with your upper arm and you'll feel the muscles start to activate. Press out and press. Left arm up, right arm down, release. Again, left arm releases to the sky as you lean. Release, stretch into your left side, keep going, three, stretch further, lean more, hold it there, one. From here, little pulses into the legs, good for six and five and four and three and two and one. Come through the center, right arm reaches up and left arm reaches down as you bend the knees. Put the weight into your heels, press them through the floor, reach, good, for four, and three, lean further, two, hold it down here, one, six pulses to the legs for six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, release the arms open. We're going to take a little bend, left toe forwards, little bend, right toe forwards, bend and left and bend and right, bend and left and bend, we lift the leg now, left leg lifts, right leg lifts, left leg lifts, right leg, now stand nice and tall, imagine you've got a book on your head and you want to balance that book, bend and lift, bend and lift, can you lift it two inches higher? and extend the leg a little bit straighter. Four, five, and lift, and four, reach the arms up. Last two, and lift. We take it to the side, left leg out to the side, and right, side, left, side. It's nice and slow. Place it in the air, place it through the floor. For five, we pause. For four, there's a slight hold. For three, we hold for two forwards again. So we bend and lift and bend now double time. So we bend, lift, bend, lift. So it's like you're just walking. Da da da. Sweep the toe forwards, lift it higher. Five and four and three and two to the side and one. Here we go, left leg out for six and five and four and three and two, and one, release. We have this open toed pose. We're gonna step the left leg behind into a curtsy, hands onto your hips. Good, so from here we just swap sides. Take a step out, right leg behind. Left, behind, right, behind. 
So it's just a little step out, and we're starting to get the heart rate up just a little bit through these curtsies, especially if you're teaching this. Then, good, keep the spine nice and tall over the pelvis. Curtsy, take a really good step behind. So you're working those inner thighs. Watch that front knee, guys. Good, five more, and four, and three, and two, and one. Okay, so you're either gonna stay with those curtsies. If you wanna come with me, I'm just gonna step a little bit further forward. We just start to bring a little leap before we curtsy. Okay, a little leap. If you want to go wider, go wider. I have got that much space. Get lower, keep going. Get that heart rate up a little bit. Lovely, either stay with the curtsy walking or come with me. Let's go a little bit faster here. Good, lovely guys, yes. Stay with this. Good, get the heart rate up. Woo. I'm breathing and I'm squeaking on the mat. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Release. Let the heart rate come down. Bend and stretch. So we want to keep the hands lower than the heart. If your arms are overhead, your heart has to work faster. So we want to bring the heart rate down. Heart rate up, heart rate down. Warming up through the body. Good. For five, little active stretch for. Keep pressing out three. And two. And one. Step wider. So this time our feet are just kind of a little bit wider than our hips. We're just going to bend our left knee. Lean your body towards me. Open your arms out. And you're just going to turn to your left. Wedge your right hand outside your left knee, left arm to the sky and look up. So we're just twisting. Turning to your left. Breathe in. Exhale through the center. Inhale, right leg bends. Lean forwards towards me. Turn your entire torso. Left hand outside right knee, right hand to the sky. Breathe and release. We're just gonna pick up our heels and they disappear behind us so that we've got this parallel pose. We're gonna take a slow squat back. Notice my toes are floating in the air, right? Because all my weight is in my heels. As we stand, push the air back, press your hips forwards. So we've got a slow squat. We're gonna activate the glutes, push the hips forwards, sit bones back, press and back. I really would love to encourage you to get way back into your heels. Yeah, way back, as if you're about to fall over, but you won't. So you want to activate the backs of the legs, take the pressure off the front. Good, lovely. Now from here, we're just going to lift one leg, alternate this time. So we squat, lift the knee. If you just want to hold the squats, feel free. We're just lifting the knee, pressing the arms back. See if you can keep the feet as parallel as you can. Good, weight is in your heels for four. And lift for three, and lift for two, and lift for one, and lift. Now we're gonna hold this little squat, hands in prayer. Lift your left heel as high as you can. Get lower and pass into the legs. That's it, so you're really nice and low, and the heel, is the highest heel you've ever worn. So try not to have it down here. Stretch the foot for five, four, three, and two, and swap to the right. Good. Stay low. Nice little pulses, five. You might feel your heart rate up for three, and two, and one. Step wide into your plie this time. We're just gonna bend the knees, take your hands onto your thighs, lean forwards towards me and lock your elbows, right? So your arms are locked into the joint just to relax the legs. Let's take a twist. Little twist, one way. Breathe in through the center. Little twist the other way. Good, 
come through the center. We're gonna take that squat, we've done this before. Right knee, left elbow, we come back down. We're gonna stay on that right knee, and down. We cross, and down. We cross. Now, this is up to you. How fast do you wanna to go today? And I really encourage an exhale to turn you. Obviously don't get dizzy, don't pass out on me. <laughs> we wanna get the heart rate up as high as we can before we bring it down again. Come on, come with me, let's go 10, nine, eight, seven, yes, six, five, four, for three, for two, and one, release. Hands are by your ears, okay? We're gonna stay on the right leg. We're gonna put all our weight into the left. Right leg comes to attitude. It's being picked up by your oblique here. It taps down. Attitude and tap and attitude. Lovely, good. Keep lifting that inner ankle. We're gonna to turn towards the right. Center, turn, center. Now we don't wanna crunch. We just wanna turn and look. Turn and look. Now as you breathe out, see if you can access that lovely little oblique muscle and transverse abdominis on your right side. Center, center. Good, five more, five. Twist a little bit further, four. Whoop. And three, don't talk as you're doing this. Two, and one, release. Notice my right toe still on the floor facing forwards. I'm gonna pick up the left, turn it out a little bit. Bend into your left leg. Left hand onto left shoulder. Right palm is pressing towards your right foot. This is gonna be about our right waist. Like a teapot, we're gonna lean our upper body over, come center. Lean our upper body over, center. We lift the leg at the same time, so it's a little lift, tap, lift. Pick it up from your waistline here. Lift and tap. Get that left elbow up to the sky. Release. Release. For five. Squeeze that right waist. Four. And three. Good. Two. And one. Release through the center. Feet hit, uh, just a little bit wider than hip distance again. Roll the shoulders back. We're gonna sit down into our chair, nice and low. Left leg, right elbow, and squat. So we're doing that little twist the other side. Good, now let the body really move here. Don't think too much, you don't need to. All you need to do is feel it and do it anyway, right? That's it, get a really good twist, use your legs. Okay, come with me, 10, and nine, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, yes, two, and one, release. Hands just by your ears. Put the weight into your right foot, left toes point, attitude in your left leg, and tap it down. So we're lifting that inner ankle, up, 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 and tapping it down and down. We're cutting out that left oblique here. Stand tall. Use your breath. Good. If you want to, take a little twist to your left, center, left, center, and left. Good. Nice. So we want to keep the body from stressing out, and the way to do that is to just let the breath be nice and free. Four more, four, three more, three, good, and two, last one, and one. So from here, now we have our left leg extended, pick up your right toes, bend the knee, we wanna get low. Right hand like a teapot, left arm reaches towards your left leg, just have a little lift of the leg first. Good, put all the weight into your right leg, and then we're gonna lean like a little teapot, and tap and tap. Good. Hopefully you guys are a little bit warm. I know that I am <laughs> talking as we're doing this. Five more. 
and four, squeeze your left waist for three and two, good. Last one, we step it forwards on one. 